Welcome back to Next Top Singer. We are still in the casting round. Please watch episode one for an introduction. To make it in, you have to get a yes signal from at least two of the judges. Two no signals means you are out. If you make it in, please read the description for instructions and don't forget to confirm your role. Lay me right down, let me sleep, I'm restless Cover my eyes when I'm up, I'll finally fade away Here today, give me a reason, then I'll stay If I could fly, if only for a moment There wouldn't be such a need for a casualty I'm alone, and that is how it'll be Why does everything I do cause tragedy? Why does everyone I know keep leaving me here? Why does it feel so empty inside? I only wanna die And hope to finally leave A world which I don't believe A life which I don't need and now I'll finally be free! You have a good pitch. You need to watch that heavy breathing though. Maybe you did that for emotional effect, but it didn't really come off that way to me. You need a better song choice because there was no range in this. It was a little bit repetitive to me. Emily, I think you have a very sweet voice. I'm just wondering if it's going to be a very memorable voice. You're really going to have to work on bringing that emotion and bring your personality and put your personality more into the song and a little bit more emotion in your voice as well. Yeah, I mean, very passable audition for me 5.5 and um, the main thing that stood out for me was taking a or as essentially a vocaloid original and then turning it into something that wasn't which shows a little bit of creativity which is always nice and could stand you in, in good stead going forward but that was the main thing that jumped out to me rather than the vocals so you definitely need to wow us with that next time out as well yeah you kind of have to make a song your own if you do a vocaloid <laughs> yeah. because it's a because it's a robot <laughs> you don't want to sing like a robot so that's kind Kind of yeah. required. You love it how I move you. You love it how I touch you, my one. When all is said and done, you believe God is a woman and I. I feel it after midnight. A feeling that you can't find my one. It lingers when we're done. You believe God is a woman. I don't wanna waste no time, yeah. You ain't got a one track mind, yeah. Have it any way you like, yeah. And I can tell that you know I know how I want it. Ain't nobody else can relate. Boy, I like that you ain't afraid. Baby, let me down and let's pray. I'm telling you the way I like it, how I want it. Erica, I think there is a really nice voice there. There were a few pitch issues and the quality of the recording was just not great, uh, but that's something that could be corrected. So I said yes, and I'm giving a six. You can't beat a bit of bathroom reverb, can you? That uh, always works wonders. That's why <laughs> singing in the shower is such a great thing for you. <laughs> or just for me anyway, it certainly sorts me right out. But um, struggled a lot in the lower register, but showed enough to move through and, and give us something else. You don't remember her, guys? I do. I, do, I remember the name season yeah. five yep i remember the name she's back and she was awesome in it yeah so welcome I mean, back being, what for being what if we're uh, being brutal it's like she's regressed a little bit from some of the entries that she put in in her season but mm. maybe it was just a, a rushed yeah. let's record this mm. quickly throw it in and and yeah, we'll she, we'll see the old erica back yeah she could be good again so we'll have to wait and see yeah i totally agree with you actually but we're not judging on the past season it's a clean slate yeah. yep so Erica, welcome back. I'm really excited to have you back. Ariana Grande is a great choice for you. Mark and I actually picked an Ariana Grande song for you back in season 5, if you remember, because you have this kind of thin belter sound, for lack of a better term. But this was rather flat, you need to watch your pitch, and a better song choice next time to show more dynamics would be better, but you have an excellent vibrato. Still, I am in total agreement with Mark and Andrea, and I gave this a 6.5. Easy enough. 
You don't know what it's like not to know who you are to have lived in the shadows and traveled this far. I've seen flashes of fire with the echo of screams, but I still have this faith in the truth of my dreams. In my dreams, it's so real, and my heart has so much to reveal. Then my dreams seem to say, don't be afraid to go on. Don't give up hope, come what may. I know it all will come back one day. Jane. This is a very tentative yes for that last note only, which I think saved you. But um, for the most part, it sounded like you completely abandoned head voice just to shriek at me, which didn't really work. (laughs) But that last note really carried it through. And for this early stage, at least, said to me that you have something. So uh, it's a yes and a 3.5 for me. Mm, Interesting. Mm. Well, for me, Janae, you are singing from your throat a lot. I do feel your desire to perform because you really try to put some dynamics into it which I really appreciate but there were too many technical issues to me you didn't perform the dynamics with the right technique you could hurt your voice if you sing that way you need training before a competition and I gave this a four and a no yeah Janae I thought there were a few pitch problems nothing that can't be worked with but I really do think that you're kind of green yet and there's a lot that can be worked with here but I really do think that you need to train a little bit more practice a little bit more and take some time to work on it and then maybe if we have another season come back but right now I am going to give a five but I'm leaning towards no unless uh, Mark wants to change my mind yeah do you want to argue for her it's not often that Mark is the nice one of us that's yeah that's what that's what I'm giving him a chance to argue in favor if he wants to change my mind because I'm on the fence I'm not going to argue 70% of it hurt my ears was (laughs) just a complete failure of technique of trying to find head voice but that one note at the end was all I was really hanging on for and she was right on the edge as it is so uh, I will let her drop. Okay, okay, fair enough. We're gonna have a big drop next time out anyway, so let's just start. Do 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 do. You have a dream you wish to tell, and it's so laughable. But hey, kid, what the hell? Because you're one of a kind, a charming demon bell. Now let's give these burning fools a place to dwell. Inside of every demon is a lost cause But we'll dress them up for now with just a smile And we'll chlorinate this cesspool with some more redemption flair And show this simpleton some proper class and style Oh, here below the ground, I'm sure your plan is sound We'll spend a little time down at this has been hotel Okay, so Julian, voice acting in a singing competition is always a bad choice. It's nice that you showed your personality in this, which a lot of singers are missing, but it was on the expense of the singing, so that's not great. And your mic was also peaking a lot, so I'm gonna have to give this a 3. Okay, and so that's a no, right? Yeah, my okay. minimum is a 4.5, by the way. Oh, okay, yeah, because you, you never know with Mark and his system. I don't know <laughs> who's where, but... But I did say that last time. I know, but sometimes you change your mind. <laughs> Um, uh, It's just not the best audition song. There was too much talking rather than singing. I'll give you a point for vocalizing the instrumental part and doing the humming where there's no instrumental, but it just falls to song choice here. I didn't really hear the singing since there's just too much speaking, so I'm going to have to pass this time around with a three. Oh, no way. I've done it again. (gasps) Oh, God. That's unbelievable. Um, I mean, it's another one right on the fence of 3.5, so I'm definitely not going to push this. Enough characteristic in there that I 
was thinking maybe there was something worth salvaging in a proper song but yeah agreed and we've got so much chopping we have to do in the later stages so uh, again I'm quite happy to uh, pass on this one Mm. okay I'm kind of surprised by this I mean aren't you the one who always put down people for voice acting in a singing competition absolutely but in the first (laughs) round if I'm catching something that could work if they were singing a full entry then I'll let them go through for one more but absolutely if that comes up in anything other than the first round it's getting trashed Mm, okay fair enough all right life's too short to even care at all i'm losing my mind losing my mind losing control these fishes in the sea they're staring at me A wet world aches for a beat of a drum oh, oh, oh. If I could find a way to see this straight I'd run away to some fortune that I, I should have found by now I'm waiting for this cough syrup to calm down, calm down. Andrea? All right. Chakri. Chakri? Okay, I'm going to go with Chakri. No idea. There were some pitch issues, and the energy level was kind of set to a three when I would have liked to see it at like a, maybe four and a half or a five. But there's a vocal quality that I'm willing to give another chance, and so I said yes with a six. Okay. One of my better scoring entries. It's a yes and a 5.5 from me. A few flat notes that need tightening up, but there is some warmth, some power, and some range, which is all the makings of a potentially good voice going forward. Forward. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Well, Shakri, you have a nice voice. You do have potential, but it was very timid and rather strained too. I mean, it sounds like sandpaper on your vocal cords. You need to push from your diaphragm. With mentoring, this could work, but you need to work. And it's still the highest score, so hmm, maybe right. I'm too nice with my scores. I don't know if we can accuse you of that. <laughs> what? Not a ten though. What's interesting? Well, <laughs> there were tens in the first week, so um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, that's still. Quite a long way short of a 10. Yeah. (laughs) To be honest, I haven't given any 10s this time around. Yeah. But now I spoiled it. Oops. Sorry. Oops. (laughs) Oops. I mean, this isn't a spoiler, but I also haven't given any 10s. Oh, no, really? Wow. That shocks me. Not you. I am surprised. surprised. Oh, my God. (laughs) (laughs) Who's to say... What's impossible, they forgot This world keeps spinning and with each new day I can feel a change in everything And as the surface breaks, reflections fade But in some ways they remain the same And as my mind begins to spread its wings There's no stopping curiosity. I want to turn the whole thing upside down. I'll find the things they say just can't be found. I'll share this love I find with everyone. We'll sing and dance to Mother Nature's songs. I don't want this feeling to go away. My only comment really is, remember, you can lay back on some of the phrases and add dynamic into it. You don't have to blast us for the whole one minute, and that would just give you so much more character in your entry. But again, some positive signs, and looking forward to hearing more. Yeah, right away, I was impressed by your energy. I thought this was going to be an 8, but then it was mostly the same notes over and over. It was strained, and it was a little flat, but it still is. I really don't have much to add. I said there was a rock quality to the voice, but there was just no real range. It was all 
one power level. It was like you set it to five and stuck at five the entire time. There was about three different notes. And there was a little bit of straining too, where I I think you're gonna hurt yourself if you push too much harder. I personally think that you might need a little bit more training and then come back if there's another season. But you know what? I also said I'd be okay if you made it through as well. So I was on a five kind of teetering to no, but eh, since everyone else said yes, I'll go five with yes. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna be nice this time. Uh, Hello, my name is Justin, and this is an excerpt from I'm the Bad Guy. I'm not the damsel in distress. I'm not your girlfriend or the frightened princess. I'm not a little bird who needs your help to fly. Nope. (laughs) I'm the bad guy. All these former villains that you see... Each of them with shaking knees has knelt before me. So I'm not your teammate or your partner in crime. What am I, boys? Ah, she's the bad guy. (laughs) Oh, it's magic to watch a planet shrivel up and die. Oh, it's thrilling to be a villain. I destroy their homes and then I watch them cry. (laughs) Cause I'm the bad guy. Your emotion is great, but be careful with voice acting in a singing competition. It shouldn't take over the singing. I was not a fan of the laughing, but I heard an amazing voice underneath all of that, actually. You could be a versatile singer. You definitely have the cojones for performance, so I gave this a 7. Okay. Justin, I said there's definitely a nice quality to your voice that I like, but I wonder with dramatics like that, I'm just hoping we're not going to fall into that pitfall of everything sounding like it's voice acting, no matter what category we're in. We had that once before. It did not work out so well. (laughs) But you know what? I'm still willing to give it a go because I still think there is a good quality of the voice there. So I'm saying yes with a six. Just filling the gap further up. It's a yes to me as well. Would have liked to have heard something more mainstream from him as um, I think there are some things that can be used, but it's a little tough to tell with that entry. So uh, it's a little bit of a a prayer for me that they've uh, got something else to bring on some a bit more um, poppy, a bit more mainstream. Mm. You're okay. always for the mainstream music, I've noticed. <laughs> Taylor well, Swift, it, is it your favorites? He, yeah, I used mm. to have a poster Taylor Swift on my ceiling so I could <laughs> uh, wake up to her every morning. But uh, You sure it wasn't Justin Bieber? <laughs> no, definitely not. <laughs> Well, let's put it this way. Potential girlfriends complained about the poster, so it probably wasn't (laughs) Justin Bieber. (laughs) Wait for me. I'm coming. Wait, I'm coming with you. Wait for me. I'm coming. I'm coming to. I'm coming. Wait for me. I hear the rocks repeating, the falling of my feet, and it sounds like drumming. And I'm not alone. I hear the rocks and stones. Echoing my song, I'm coming. (laughs) First, there was like eight seconds of just like nothing, like just blank sound. That's never good. Utilize your time. I mean, I think people are kind of taking this, like they're listening to the song either maybe on the radio, like in headphones, or maybe they're just listening, like thinking about it in their head. If there's like a part where there's an instrumental, like the song kind of like there's like a pause, you don't need to take the pause. Just keep singing and try to fit in those empty spaces with music. You don't have to just like go, and there was. 
<laughs> hey, song. No, you don't have to do that. You actually have more time to showcase your voice if you just skip those instrumental parts. Like that was eight seconds where you could have been given us something. When you did finally sing, there was pitch issues. The quality of the recording just wasn't great. The song choice wasn't great. There were just too many issues. I mean, I think there's a nice voice in there somewhere, but I think there's just too much work for you to do before you're ready for a competition. So I'm going to have to say three and no. Sorry. It's a no and it's a two. I'll make it quick. I wanted you to wait for me and not wail at me. It was just sloppy. <laughs> yeah, because the song is wait for me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Ski, you do have energy, but this was very flat and you do have an immature voice. You do have potential, but I don't think you're ready. So it's going to be a four and a no. And I was a nice one for once, but not nice enough. <laughs> Better than I ever even knew They say that the world was built for two Only we're living if somebody Is loving you And baby, now you do Now you do Now you do This could be another contentious one. Mm -hmm. And I must have been in a happy mood yesterday when I was listening to these or something, because um, I think I'm leaning on the nicer end of things. But <gasps> this is going to be a slim yes for me. And I feel like I might fight for this one, because uh, it's only half an audition that we got. And there are some issues in that as well. But I'm getting some of Lana's moody vibe in it. And I just want one more entry to see if there is some of that there. But yeah, I've, <laughs> I feel like I'm going to be in for a battle with it. Well, I might fight fight you but not for the reason that you might think because Natasha I think Lana Del Rey is a genius song choice for you you have this really smoky seductive voice I really felt like having a whiskey and cigar listening to you sing and I don't even drink whiskey or smoke cigars this had a great effect on me actually but it was way too short like Mark said so please use the full time next time that's really important this is your time to show who you are as an artist and you need the full time to be able to do that and what's the pen intentional otherwise you can record in mono next time or make the recording a mono recording so that it doesn't just come out from one ear because that was a bit interesting I think you need to show some more dynamics next time too because this wasn't a great audition song but you have such a huge potential to me so I gave this an eight well Natasha I like the raspy voice I think there's a unique quality to your voice but that was definitely a poor utilization of time you could have given us a little bit more but I think there was enough to to work with so I'm gonna say yes but I'm only giving a six because I think it could have been higher if you used the full time allowed and gave us a little bit more to work with but at least uh, you're getting through so hmm. so mm. I was the outlier here <laughs> yeah can I go first with Kermit I'm not done with <laughs> Natasha though oh but I'm she just saying I just want to go first amazing voice I mean uh, okay anyway I guess we gotta move on to save time I guess <laughs> Hey, this is Kermit the Frog VA here, coming at you live from my underground dungeon. I am a uh, one eon old, however many dog years that is, and I am here to uh, sing big and win big. Uh, yeah, here you go. We're no strangers to love. Yeah, you know the rules, and so do I. A full commitment's what I'm thinking of. You wouldn't get this from any other frog. I just want to tell you how I'm feeling. Gotta make you understand. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna run around and desert you. Never gonna make you cry. Never gonna say goodbye. Never gonna tell a lie and hurt you. But isn't it my turn? Yes, but I want to start. <laughs> I, I I have a lot to say about this. And well, I only have one word or one one sentence. So okay, <laughs> trolls always get a one for me. That's it. 
<laughs> okay, well, then I'm gonna, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna give you this. To get Rick rolled by Kermit the Frog is pretty funny. So I'm definitely giving you a 10 for creativity. <laughs> but then I'm taking that 10 away. Because if you're really Kermit the Frog, which I have some doubt, I, I don't think you are. But if you are, I mean, to not sing It's Not Easy Being Green or The Rainbow Connection. I mean, come on. Come on. <laughs> Missed freaking opportunity. If you were really Kermit the Frog, you would have picked one of those two songs. So I give you a 10 for the creativity of Rick rolling us, but I'm taking the 10 away because you didn't do a classic Kermit the Frog song. But here's where I'm going to throw a mark in here. Okay. I actually Don't think that I, I know you're trolling. I know you're trolling. Okay. But I actually think that if you would take a little bit of the Kermit away, you have actually a good voice. Maybe you just don't realize you're a good singer and that's why you're hiding behind the persona. And even though I'm giving you a zero because I had to take that 10 away, I actually am still giving you a yes. <laughs> oh, this so reminds me of Swedish Idol. They had a Siamese <laughs> twins pair come in and it was trolling. But then one judge noticed that one of them could actually sing. So she got a yes. So you're pulling a Laila Baige from Swedish Idol. I am. I'm willing. I'm willing to see what Kermit can give us. And you're still giving an invalid score. Well, yeah, because again, if you're Kermit the Frog, you don't just not do Rainbow Connection or It's Not Easy Being Green. I I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that wasn't really the best Kermit the Frog voice I've ever heard, to be honest. But as I got rickrolled by a Kermit, <laughs> it's a yes and it's a 420 <gasps> out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell, guys? What the yes! hell? <laughs> yes, Mark! Yes! <laughs> You're trolling me here. What are you doing? <laughs> You always want to make this a comedy show. Not What's wrong always. with you? Usually Mark and I totally disagree. Mark's usually the one who throws a wrench in it. I'm doing it for honest reasons. There might be some kind of a decent voice if they would drop the act. So I I'm willing to try. Mark is the one trolling. He always okay. trolls. So. If Kermit the Frog wins the competition, <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Forever. <laughs> you might be surprised. You never know. You never know. <sighs> Hi, my name is Liliana VA. I am 14 years old and I am auditioning for the next Top Singer 2021 Season 8. I hope you enjoy my audition. I will be singing Fragile by Via B. Handle with care. A box of glass can break so easily Like paper does there I want to stay and would be so eagerly Cause it takes so long to repair My feelings are glass, it's just so unfair Why do I break so frequently? Why am I so fragile? Why am I so fragile? Am I made of glass? Okay, Andrea, let's see if you okay. can make up yourself here. <laughs> <laughs> Liliana VA. Liliana, I think you have a nice voice. I think that with some work, you could really bring out the quality. Right now, your voice is very raw. I just think you need to kind of grow a little bit. It also wasn't the best song choice. It didn't really show off your voice that well. And we really need to get some emotion. But there's a lot to work with if you keep practicing. So I'm kind of leaning towards no. I'd rather you go train a little more and then come back again if there's another season but I could also be convinced to change that no to a yes so I'm kind of good either way well it's not gonna come from me unfortunately it's a not so great cover of a not so great song for a competition if nothing else I know what the song is and it's a youtuber that's written it and it's with a ukulele in the background it's a little um, it doesn't really show off any vocal characteristic either it's more just talk singing along to a ukulele 
Israeli, so it, it's a little limiting. I mean, if there was something more mainstream in the mix where they could have showed off a bit more of their range, we might have seen more to work with. Nothing salvageable for me, unfortunately. Yeah, the voice sounded as fragile as the song was about because there was no range and no dynamics in this. It's a rather immature voice too, so you need more time to really develop. You can come back when you're ready, but that's not now. I guess it's round to me anyway, but I guess one thing to chip in on this mainstream thing for me is if you've got a mainstream song that's made it into a chart or been released by a well-known artist, it's generally got some things you can latch onto, like a big catchy chorus or something like that. So you, know, you can really take hold of that and show your uh, skills off with it. That's just how they're set up generally. There are some other issues as well that we may come to uh, later on. And we're kind of getting in with this next entry as well, Gage Haddock. <laughs> Hello, my name is Gage Haddock, and I'll be doing This is Halloween from The Nightmare Before Christmas. Here we go. Boys and girls of every age, wouldn't you like to see something strange? Come with us and you will see this our town of Halloween. This is Halloween, this is Halloween, pumpkins scream in the dead of night. This is Halloween, everybody make a scene, trick or treat. Till the neighbor's gonna die of fright in our town. Everybody scream in this town of Halloween. I'm the one hiding under your bed. Teeth ground sharp and eyes glowing red. I'm the one hiding under your stairs. Fingers like snakes and spiders in my hair. This is Halloween, this is Halloween. Halloween, 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 Halloween. And we're kind of getting in with this next entry as well, Gage Haddock. So it's a no from me and a two. If you're going to pick something from a musical, then at least try and put on a performance. Come on. I mean, (laughs) (laughs) the odd singing element here doesn't really salvage the fact that the whole thing was just a little flat in terms of performance. So uh, it's another no-go for me, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the first issue I noticed is that you really need a better mic so that we can really hear you properly. And there were a lot of background noise and such. But the big biggest issue with this is that it was too much voice acting. You only have one minute, you don't have time for voice acting, so that's a real bad choice. I basically said the same thing. It was just a poor choice in audition song. Too much talking rather than singing, not enough range, poor mic quality. We keep this love in a photograph. We make these memories for ourselves. Where our eyes are never closing, our hearts were never broken, and time's forever frozen still. So you can keep me inside the pocket of your ripped jeans, holding me close until our eyes meet. You won't ever be alone, and if you hurt me, That's okay, baby, only words bleed. Inside these pages, you'll just hold me. And I won't ever let you go. Wait for me to come home. This was a very interesting version of the song. I'm not sure it worked though, because the pitch just flew far away at some parts. Still, this is the most dynamic cover of this I've heard here. Be careful not to strain your voice on the higher notes though, because that was pretty jarring to me. There were technical issues in this, but I did like it overall, and I always applaud singers for making songs their own. I said nice, a really nice voice. I, I think it's very sweet voice, but is it memorable? I don't know. I mean, I, I, it feels like I've heard the sound before many other times. So I guess I would like to see you put more of your personality in it and see if you can make yourself stand out from the crowd. I think I'm just echoing other points here, to be honest. Nice tone on display. I like that you're trying to put your own slant on it, but really need to show a lot more refinement on the uh, vocal acrobatics. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more auditions in the next episode. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.